Betis Süße hat ein neues langes Kleid und es schlenkert um die Füße die seine Herrlichkeit. Jedes Herz beginnt zu sieben, alle Männer drehen sich um, doch sie selbst ist nicht zufrieden und wissen nicht warum. Wenn die Elisabeth nicht so schöne Beine hätte, hätte sie viel mehr Freude an den Neuen. If you were to pick up a history book, you would probably learn a lot about specific dates and bullet points. You may also see pictures of artifacts, pieces of pots, baskets, fossils, and numerous other things. However, the emotion and senses we feel are much different when we can actually hold, feel, see, smell, and become immersed with the object. Almost as if the story of the object is still contained within, and if you move the light veil between the past and present, you would be able to witness and experience everything the object went through. The best part is, each object or artifact has its own story. During the Second World War, the Soviet Union had a unique and morbid way of measuring victories against Nazi Germany. Instead of ground or territory gained as the measuring device, victory was measured by the number of Germans killed within a battle. When the war was over in 1945, Germany was broken into sectors that were divided up amongst the Allied forces. In East Germany, the Soviet Union sector, that same hatred the communist Soviets had for German soldiers was carried out upon the German civilians. By 1961, about 20% of Germany's population had fled from the Soviets' religious persecution, property confiscation, and political oppression. To stop this exodus, the East German army began construction of the Berlin Wall. In part through domestic terrorism, such as kidnappings, torture, murder, and imprisonment without trial, the Soviets, with their Stasi secret police in East Germany, maintained the power and control of the government. Fear was their form of control. The Iron Curtain, as it came to be known, was a physical border between nations but also the idea between oppression and freedom. President Ronald Reagan took on the enormous challenge of bringing down the Berlin Wall. With his unshakable lifelong opposition to communism and staunch support of human rights, Reagan attended multiple summits with the General Secretary of the Communist Party, Mikhail Gorbachev. From these summits, Reagan and Gorbachev formed a relationship of mutual respect on June 12, 1987, at the Brandenburg Gate in Germany, Reagan tested the strength of this new relationship with what became one of Reagan's most powerful and inspirational speeches. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, Mr. Gorbachev, Tear down this wall. A 
And now, what was once a symbol of oppression is a symbol of freedom.